Half a night of sporting theatre. The teams are coming out onto the field. They're ready, and so are our commentators. Former All Black, Murray Mexton, and first, John Champion. The Rugby World Cup still has its holders. Can it retain its hosts? Great offensive defense. Rokathoko, Carter, Sivivatu. Now Ali Williams gets it away to Tony Woodcroft. Here's Jerry Collins. And it's Try that boots it away with a huge sigh of relief. Okay. Oh, we're going to have a great game on our hands. McAllister with a chip and chase. Former schoolboy footballer with Manchester United, Luke McAllister. Now here's Mills Mulliaina. New Zealand lead. Oh, it's a wonderful run. Arena Dorky on the field. Carter. McAllister. Nice footwork. Look, McAllister. Richard McCall in support. Also Kelleher. Caught by Josion. Yeah, beautiful break, Keller. He should have given it to McCaw, though. Jerry Collins. An advantage here for New Zealand. Sivivatu may not need the advantage. Soyalu to Ali Williams. Well, whether he hit the corner flag, I don't know. But it has been sent upstairs to the TMO. Oh, he's out. McCaw to Carter, into the gap from McAllister, fullback exposed, support from Jerry Collins, and Collins back to McAllister! And that was a try that time. Classic try. It was, wasn't it? Absolutely classic. Well, you've got to look at the line that McAllister ran to break the line. He came back at Carter, came on an angle, running right back. Have a look at this one, you'll see it from this direction. Bang, into the hole. And then he drew his support last time, he didn't. And Collins couldn't quite make it, but he offloaded again. McAllister was there and he had the momentum. Oh, no, that's a great try. Well, there's a bit of individualism, but there's also a whole bunch of unity and cohesion and support and finish. Nobody could doubt that one. And there'll be a few people smiling at Edgeley Park because sales. Daniel Carter then. No problem with that. 13 0 New Zealand's lead now. And kicking responsibilities again. This would make France feel so much better to at least be on the board at half time. And they are at the third time of asking. Half-time whistle goes, Lionel Boxis with the penalty kick. Williams carried out a reconstruction of Chabal. Draw. But here's a chance for Amons. And now Marty and Amons and France keep it alive very well. Well, I thought they were going to score, actually. I don't know if they will now, it might be turned over. New Zealand come away with it. Only as far as Aaron Ordeke. Try. Poor pass, it loses some of the French momentum, but this is Vincent Clair. And out of McDonald. And still five metres out from the New Zealand line. Ellisald 
Buxis with the chip, which is dealt with. There was a collision, and referee Wayne Barnes has got some sorting out to do. Because a French player seems to be taken out. No, he ran straight into him. Well, you could hardly say anybody was... Ten minutes. Ten minutes in the bin, Luke McAllister. Penalties here, you'll need to be on the line, but I'll wait for that. They're taking out Jersey on. You use the line, but we're going to wait for the Opportunity. To change a game that might be lost. Well, this game is by no means lost from a French perspective. 13 points to six now as Boxis lands his second. Josian. David Marty brought to ground. No hands! Josian again. This time Jerome Tion. Right outside is Amons. Chabau. Welcome to the game. We've got a game, all right. Josian. Claire. Good hands. Danny on try. Overlap near side. Harry Nordeke. Surely he hasn't got the pace. Taken down by Soyal. Elisal. There's more belief about the French now. They're more expansive. It's Dusitois. Runs a right back in this quarterfinal now. Oh, wonderful try, France. Well, they've run it, they've stretched the All Blacks left, then right, and eventually through the centre. It was wonderful support play, they just kept moving it, feeling everybody having a bit of a go. But they're looking to play now, they're right in it now. It's a different ball game. Bruce Etoire stepped nicely through the... Marley Williams. Getting closer and closer. Paul, replacement hooker. Now Chris Jack, two metres short of the French line. Soyalo burrowing towards oh, the line. he scored. From this angle, he looked like he made it. Quite so aware of the rules of the game as that, uh, that supporter. Well, Luke McAllister with Dan Carter off injured has taken over the kicking duties. Wide to the right. 18 points to 13, a narrow lead. Nine, don't touch each other. Save that ball. Aaron Ordeke. Try. Try with half a break. Here's Michelak. First touch of the ball. High stepping over the 22. Needs support. Yannick Josian. Josian for France. The game is level again. Well, Michelak, the enigma, you say. What a sensational break. Slipped the tackle. Continued on. Then he had the patience. At, in the moment to with, withhold trying to go alone he pulled back and he gave the pass have a look at this the composure under pressure stops looks passes does everything right and the try France conversion attempt is good it's all or nothing rugby now for New Zealand He cycled slowly. McAllister. Couldn't offload. Backwards. And if France just get an inkling of possession, all they will do is boot the ball to touch and the game will be over. That's why New Zealand have oh, to retain lost. it, but they've That's lost it. it. Ellis Ald, he knows what he has to do. He has to find Sanctuary. Sanctuary is the touchline. Sanctuary is a World Cup semi-final. And New Zealand, the country who seemed destined to win the 2007 Rugby World Cup, are out at the quarter-final stage. Well, who would have believed it? Look at that French team. They are ecstatic. It's their World Cup. Home with their tails between their ears, their legs. Despondent. Beaten. Beaten by a team on the day, you'd have to say. Congratulations, France.